they're going to let you know. They'll give you a weave or something. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the January 12th Board of Selectmen meeting. Um, I'm going to fill in again this evening as chairman, as our chairman is still on vacation. So I'll need a clerk for this evening, please. I'll make a motion to um, for Jane to be clerk. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Madam Clerk, if you get the roll call, please. Mr. Chairman, four selectmen are present. Chairman Bruce Savageau is absent, and the town administrator is present. We also have the chief of police with us this evening. Okay, thank you. Um, announcements, I see the historical society has. Sure. <clears throat> Wareham Historical Society presents Time Flies. Join the Wareham Historical Society on Monday, January 18th, 2010, as Barry Hutchinson shares his love of all things that tell time. Barry learned his trade through training provided by the Navy. After the Navy, he went into the jewelry industry repairing timepieces, both vintage and new. His work has turned into a passion where he now repairs and restores antique and modern mechanical timepieces. He looks forward to explaining things that tick. Admission for members is free and non-members is $2. For more information, contact 508 273 Okay, thank you. Um, well. Citizens' participation. Is there, is there, I see two hands. Uh, lady in the back first, please. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Citizens' Little closer. Little closer. Little cl any, any closer? Yeah. Last week you had a representative from CDM talking about a pump station at the end of Mayflower Ridge, and I was feeling very uncomfortable about that location. I went home and double checked. It is part of the Parker Mills Historic District, so I don't think you're going to get a good chance of putting a pump station on that piece of property. That's all. So we'll have uh, that looked into, Mr. Andrews, please. Yes, I will. All right. Um, and next we had, come on down, Larry. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, and also thank you for the great job you guys have done for last year. I hope you have a continued success. I'm here because I got a call tonight from uh, Linda Burroughs, and she said, uh, are you going to be on and announce rides for the voting for next week? the people who need it. And I said, you know, I think it's a good idea. I called Mary Ann Silva. She agreed that it was a good idea for us to offer rides to anyone who hasn't been able to get to the voting machine. So all I have to do is call the sit town clerk, Mary Ann Silva. We also need uh, volunteers for drivers, 508-291-3140. Uh, and volunteer or we will leave their names so that we can know how many people we have to pick up anytime as long as they need a ride to get you know with the registered voters that's it that's it quick one Larry huh quickie okay so you need a ride to the polls uh, give Marianne a call and uh, her and Larry and they'll get you a ride right thank you very much okay thanks Larry. Um, the consent agenda um, Madam Clerk, B and C are on hold, okay? Yes, sir. I don't see any bills. Takes and care of it. Approval of the regular session minutes of December 8th, 2009 and December 15th, 2009. I move we accept the uh, regular minutes of the regular selectmen's meeting on December 8th, 2009. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, opposed, uh, abstain, <coughs> four zero zero. We have the minutes of the selectmen's meeting on December 15, 2009. I move we accept them as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain, abstaining, four zero zero. Okay. We have executive session minute meeting, mi meeting minutes from December 22, 2009. I move we, oh, I wasn't here, so I can't make a motion. 
can you can make it yeah, you can sustain. Just make sure you have the second. Yeah, the just second sixteen. Because the first one was enough half and it's incorrect. But the numbers are right on this one, right? Is that what that right. was the error? Open, open session first. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make the motion to approve them, um, approve and hold the minutes. Uh, I'll second that. See, and I came in late that evening, but I'll second that motion. Okay. So, uh, all in favor of that? Aye. So that's uh, abstain. Okay. So three zero one. Jane will abstain. Uh, I voted on that, uh, Janet, because I came in late. So, thank you. All right. License and permits. None, huh, Jane? No licenses and permits. Getting better and better. Okay, Mr. Andrews. Mr. Chairman, uh, through you to the members, um, if I could move up. Uh, because the police chief is here this evening for a very important presentation on 7B uh, and 7C. Uh, if I could ask him to uh, come up and provide us with that presentation. Absolutely. Quick. Yep. Disenchanted that that the uh, police department really was not bringing forward policy and procedures on a regular basis for approval as required by Massachusetts general laws. Um, one thing I did is I went back and I started to research that. You're absolutely correct. Um, in an effort to bring our department up to standards, um, what we've done is I spoke to many members of the department who, as all of you have seen, have really risen to the occasion. Uh, I can't say enough about them, their work ethic, what they're doing for this community on a regular basis, and the dangerous job. Look at how many guns they've been taking off the street. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, the drug dealers and the bank robbers. So they've been really tremendous at changing the way the way this community has viewed them, or some in the community have viewed them, uh, which was absolutely false. But what I want to get to is I said to them, I said, listen, we can do one of two things. We can put in some rules and regulations and policy and procedures or we can go after the prize, and the prize is Massachusetts law enforcement accreditation. But in an effort to get to law enforcement accreditation, it's going to take an awful lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work with cooperation from the union, from town government, from every man and woman of the department, civilian and so on. They unanimously told me, let's do it. So I developed a team to start that process. In fact, in uh, my first meeting with the town administrator, he's very big on goal setting, and he stated to me, he says, I want to know what your goals are going to be. And we spoke of one of my assignments would be to get the Wareham Police Department accredited. We agreed on that, that, that would be a, a goal that would be important for the department. So uh, Mark has pledged to work with me towards that. Um, I established the accreditation office. It's made up of Sergeant Preston Urquhart, Officer Dennis DeMotter, and Officer Bill Philman. Uh, these three officers have been doing a tremendous job with the cooperation of all in the department. We have looked at accreditation. For those of you who aren't really familiar with accreditation, accreditation is a voluntary process. And it's a process that police agencies strive to meet and maintain standards that have been established for the police profession by the police profession. It started in 1996. The benefits are written directives are a proven method for reaching administrative and operational goals, fact-based management decisions, limits liability, and professional excellence. To tell you how difficult it is to reach accreditation, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts currently, there are only 28 accredited agencies, 28. We have 155 standards to meet for certification and another 98 standards to meet for accreditation. My goal is by May to bring forward 